is now is Dr. Jen Ashton, ABC's chief medical correspondent. Hi there, Jen. Hi, Liz. Obviously very exciting news for many people. Explain why the CDC decided to change the guidance at this point. Well, I think you have to break it down to three issues here. First of all, vaccination metrics. So now that the vaccines have been out since about the middle of December, we're starting to see, starting to see in some parts of the country, a decrease in the rates of hospitalizations, the rates of deaths. So the vaccines are working. Number two, aerosol science. We understand a lot more now about how this virus behaves in different environments. And we know that outdoor, much lower risk, much safer in general, General for transmission than indoor settings. And then lastly, the psychology of this pandemic. I heard that loud and clear in what President Biden said, as well as what the CDC director, Dr. Rochelle Walensky said. They are really plugged into the fact that they know the psychology of this country. People are tired, they're frustrated, they're mm -hmm. sick of the masks, and they're offering this as incentive. Mm -hmm. This is our way out back to some normalcy. So let me ask you this. As we saw in Tony Yates's live chat, she was in Somerville, New Jersey, obviously a much quieter town than let's say walking down the street in New York City. So if you are fully vaccinated two weeks out from your second dose, are you comfortable walking down the street in New York City without a mask? Well, as I am, and that's because, again, we think that the infectious dose, the amount of this virus needed to infect us is so low, you're passing someone for a millisecond, again, outdoors, uh, not prolonged exposure. And again, I'm vaccinated after that two week window. So the risk to me, very, very low. And again, I'm tested every week, so I know I'm not inadvertently mm -hmm. transmitting it to someone else. And this, this new plan really is based on kind of the honor system system for people that if you are not fully vaccinated or not vaccinated at all, it is really up to you to continue to be responsible and wear that mask. 100%. And again, you're talking not only about your own protection, but about protecting those around you. And we heard them say masks still recommended in crowded settings and indoors. That is as much to protect those around us as it is to protect ourselves. All right. It is a baby step, but it is a big one. Yes, all right, Jen, is. really appreciate it. Thanks so much.